question is lengthy question i always start reading from the last line which of the following is the most likely diagnosis next i am reading the second last line a biopsy shows uh, cells scattered predominantly along the perivascular spaces right and it is given that this is a patient with aids who has come with history of memory loss so hiv patient aids with dementia with movement disorders clumsiness uh, right and memory loss you start thinking of the dementia or the hiv encephalopathy is what we have here the next point that we have here is mri shows diffuse poorly defined bilateral hyperintensities within the white matter right so this is a diagnosis of hiv encephalopathy what are you seeing in the image here what are you seeing in the image here so basically the image is showing the multinucleate giant cells is what you are seeing which is a finding which is seen in hiv encephalopathy okay which is hiv encephalopathy so remember that what is the image showing is basically the multinucleate giant cells is what we are seeing in hiv encephalopathy is this clear with everyone so the diagnosis is hiv encephalopathy in cryptosporidiosis cryptosporidium is what causes diarrhea in a hiv positive patient that history will be there diarrhea in hiv positive patient there's no memory loss dementia wala feature here hiv protease inhibitors remember protease inhibitors cause lipodystrophy as a predominant side effect there with protease inhibitors lymphoma that you would see a lymphoma in a hiv positive patient is mostly a solitary lesion right the primary cns lymphoma and it can in the hiv positive patient it can come as a ring enhancing lesion it will not come as bilateral hyper intensities within the cerebral white matter is this clear with everyone if it would have been dhwani agar hsv encephalitis pe kabhi bhi question aata hai so they tell you the temporal lobe being affected here it is white matter affected bilaterally so the important point also to remember here that when in a hiv positive patient on mri you see bilateral white matter lesions the two important diagnosis that you think of are the conditions uh, which is uh, hiv encephalopathy hive or you think of progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy that is pml leukoencephalopathy tells you that it affects the white matter okay out of that hiv is more so bilateral symmetrical and this is more so asymmetrical pml is more so asymmetrical and it is associated with the jc virus okay it is associated with the jc virus is this clear with everyone is the voice clear or not clear guys someone is saying ki voice clear nahi hai is the voice clear is it any better now yes right so is this clear with everyone that why the diagnosis is hiv encephalopathy right you have in hiv encephalopathy you have memory loss you have motor symptoms and you have bilateral white matter lesions that you would see which are symmetrical